These types of species are no good and unsuitable. They are Wachi Docharita Baba Mesconda. If you refrain from using this speech, then it is a Wachi Sutarita Baba Kut Kondat or Baba Rai Kondat Kusala. The next category, Mano Docharita Menda Mesconduct. There are also the three types of uh, there are three types Abeja, Biabada, Mecha Deity. Abeja combatinous instant greed, strong desire to take the property of other as his own. This is Abeja. Yabada, evil, ill will, harboring hatred in the mind, wishing to harm others. Major deity, wrong view. The three are bad contact in the mind. It's Mano Docharita. Why is that Abeja? When someone sees the property of others, he has this strong desire to take the properties from others without paying anything. He saw some people think when to take, when to take, how to take, hmm? but never pay anything. They say, Abeja. He has this strong desire to take the property from the others without paying anything. Just only when to take. In the supplementary, it is explained as follows. Prasambhati abhimukha jayati di abhijja prasambhati su lobha Pra means other. Sambhati means fortune, happiness, Sasis attainment. Abhimukha means to what? Chayadi means intense thinking, contemplating. Loba means greed or attachment. So the definition for the Abhijja here means taking strongly towards the properties of others and having strong attachment towards the properties of others. Here by the word property is a refer to not just material wealth, but it can also mean other forms or attainments like fame, success, happiness. The next means the misconduct is Biabada. Why the Biabada? Someone with Biabada has such intention of ill will arising in his mind. He likes to kill living beings. He likes to harm and torture other living beings. He likes to cause suffering to others. He thinks in his mind, this person I do not like. It is better that he dies. Thinking inside the mind. That person I don't I do not like. I don't like that person. If he dies better. I don't need to see again. Why is it a beer? Inside the mind. It is good? No good. This kind of thought is a uh, Biabada, ill well. Then again, inside the mind, again and again, it becomes stronger, come to bodily, a barber action, talks, rust speech. After that, this is more stronger, so going to key. So, I hope so it becomes stronger by stronger. Let me give you an example. <clears throat> Because I am enemies, cast 
suffering in his mind. This arouses strong desire, chanda, in his mind for bad things to be put in his enemy. This is creating akusala karma. Another example concerns the business world. Two companies are comp competing for business. Each one went to destroy the other business. The man is always thinking and wishing for the comp comp competitor's downfall. This is also Biabada evil. Say, society by society, group by group. Hmm? If you want to promote, you don't like to other begin higher place. This is also Biabada evil appear in your mind. This is also Akusala. You don't think this is smaller Akusala. A little by a little become bigger by bigger. When you put the one container inside the empty place, the rain come down, the rainwater drop by drop, going to the container. After that, slowly, fully, the water. In the same way, kusala, akusala, you do a little bit, a little bit, a little bit. After that, begin by bigger, by bigger, mature. After that, result to you. So kusala result, you go into realm. Akusala result, you go into power force realm. Biabada Iwa is also one of the five hindrances Niwarana for our meditation practice. Sometimes you meditate. You angry yourself because I cannot focus the breath. Why, why, why I cannot meditate? The mind always going away, huh? go away. Keep here, go out again. So after that, you become angry yourself. There's a Bhyavada Nivara, they start to you ready. Why? Because I know my fullness. The next Manojo Srita is Mecha Deity. Why is the Mecha Deity? Mecha means wrong. Deity is view, so wrong view. In many Soda, the Buddha talks this around you. Ida mewa sacha moga minyanti. So someone with a wrong view always think like this, only my view is at the truth. Any other views are or opinions, opinions are wrong and restless. The person with a wrong view sticks to his view strongly and disregards all of other opinions. In the Damasini commentary, the Buddha defined major deity as follows Yata Bhocha. Yata Bongja Kaha Bawena Mecha Basadidi Mecha Deity. What the meaning? Gahana means seasons, acquiring, taking, grasping. Abawa means absence. Disappearance, non becoming. Mecha means wrong. Basadi means to see or to understand. Therefore, the absence of grasping the true as it really is. And having wrong understanding of the true, this is wrong view, Mecha deity. 
Metadata has a very wide meaning. The Buddha explained about metadata in many sutta. For example, in the Samanya Pala Sutta, in Diga Nikaya, many other sutta also. Particular types of wrong view is uh, described. Nati Dena, Nati Yeta, Nati Huda, Nati Sukada Dogata, Kamana, Palan, Vibako, Nati Ajan Loko, Nati Palo, Loko, Nati Mata, Nati Bida, Nati Sada, Obabadika, Nati Loki, Samana Prama, Samakata, Samabadipana, Imencha Lokan, Parencha Lokan, Sayan Abhinya, Sitikatawa, Pawitendi, Pawitendi. What the meaning? There is nothing given. If you give it, nothing benefits. Nothing offer, nothing sacrifice, no fruit, no result of the good or bad actions. You do anything, no kusala, no akusala, no result, no effort, this is all around you. No the war, no other war, no mother, no father, the wrong you but in thinking. Because of the merits we are born, the thing is, that I no need to take care. We are no father, no mother like this. No beings who are reborn spontaneously. No good in bachus, recluses in Brahmins in the world who has themselves re realized by this direct knowledge and decree, declare his war in the, the other wars. All are no. This is a morally nihilistic materi materialistic view. Thus, no belief in life after that as well as karma in its resolve. So this is the one type of wrong view, Mecha Deity. So these three, Abhijja, Vyavada, and Mecha Deity, are Bhava, uh, Mende, Miscontent. They are Kauchite, Bhavake, Dhamme, Ibe, and Hoswan, Dhamma. All the three Point of the wrong action. Kaya dotrida, bodily misconduct, wachi dotrida, verbal misconduct, and mano dotrida, mental misconduct. A kochita, babaka, dhamma. Rebossive, ibe, and hosan, dhamma. Let us the definition for the kusala again. Kauchi de baba ge dame salayandi chalayandi kamunti within dindi di kusala to shake away iba hosan dama a call kusala. They are to shake away, to cast, to tremble. To destroy and to remove all this rebirth ibe and hosan dhamma. That has just been described. This is called kusala. Now you know what is a kusala. When you cast Mahakusala Chaita, great hosan consciousness to arise. You have kusala chedana, hoswan pollution in your mind. This kusala chedana push, pushes you to offer dana, pushes you to observe sila, precepts, 
practice bhavana meditation like metta loving kindness karuna compassion mudita appreciative joy at the time of performing this wholesome act your kusala mind is a very powerful so that moment so at that moment you can shake away temporarily cut off akusala kasin the akusala to retreat away this is the meaning of salayanti charayanti kampanti but at this state the kusala is a only temporary suppresses the next word within then the to destroy refer to meka nyana but knowledge when you attain past knowledge the power of past knowledge is able to permanently destroy somewhere or the akusala for example when you attain sada badi meka nyana the path knowledge or strength and tara you permanently destroy or akusala that can lead to rebirth in the four vopo states sarabadi mega permanently close closes the door to apaya vopo states so you will never reborn again into any of the four woeful states they are for kochi de baba ke dame within sindidi kusala the discretion or evil and wholesome dama is called kusala there are two characteristics of the kusala anawicha sukha vibhaga lakhana anawicha mean brainless sukha vibhaga means happy results lakhana mean characteristic so the two characteristics for kusala is brainless in bringing happy result in the future on the other hand akusala has the characteristic of inviting rain in bringing painful result in the future one other characteristic of kusala is the possibility of bringing design river result in the future it cultivated properly kusala can lead to great benefits the buddha said in the engodra nikaya kanu baba baba ti sauda hd baker we sila we do che do paniti we sauda sa bekus the main the aspiration of the bachu passing will be successful because of his purity is you are sila a very pure with what you wish was successful what you need at the time you wish so if someone observes sila very well whatever he wishes for in his mind he wishes will be fulfilled and successfully i want to be attain nibbana you are successfully but need to practice observing sila is also one type of kusala that we should perform all the times what we can really depending on our the kusala action such as dana kusala sila kusala and bhavana kusala the kusala action are your dependence 
us they can list you to uh, list you to good fortunate realms they are your true dependents no material things or no family members if you would like to have good vipaka result in the future you wish to have good fortune in the future you must train to always have good mind and good chedana as you went to future good what do you do what do you need to do train your mind good in train your mind good chedana pollution if you are chedana is good your karma is good your result in the future will be good on the other hand if your chedana is bad your karma is also bad your result in the future will also be bad that's why it is very important to have your ni so manasi kara wise attention all the time is a list to good intention good chedana and good karma on the other hand are your ni so manasi kara and wise attention list to bad attention and bad chedana and bad karma you see it's going to kusala and akusala just you are attention wise attention and unwise attention as you have wise attention you have become good kusala as you are unwise attention you are bad kusala on the way you saw that body of the dog or something some people throw on the way you see you complain only why you come to he come to throw here you angry to him you are and why attention already why you got dosa my arises or this one i was going to to somewhere or you to put ground for some people not got the best man so this is cool. a uh, wise intention also you can take all oh, this is, i can take asuba object if you see this object in the, you practice in asuba bhavana if you have to mature your parami so you can attain nibbana also if you only complain 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 what you got a hosa If you saw something no good rubbish on the way you cleanse and throw you got the kusala you see kotosra hmm? the past life she is a bhikkhuni yanga bhikkhuni one day they go into pay respect to the bagoda in front, in front of the one of old bhikkhuni she do <coughs> so the slime is a throw out on the floor so behind the yanga the bhikkhuni saw this one she said very bad things who stupid person is a true uh, spread out here so after that she began very angry the body and she claim oh this one no go i will claim so he will go kusala and maybe began very beautiful just only complain because of that person is a arahant that's why the, you got the kusala and akusala uh, if you want to take the kusala easily you need to wise attention if you want to take the akusala very easy also you make the unwise attention for someone with a good chedana he can be reborn into higher life reach successfully good appearance etc 
That's why the Buddha said, Kama Saka, Kama Dayada, Kama Yoni, Kama Brisarana, Kama Bantu, Kama Brisarana, Kama Sade, Wibi Jedi, Jedi Dan, Hina Panita Daya. Being are owners of their Kama. They are all their Kama. They originate from their Kama. They are born to their Kama. Have their Kama as their refuge. It is Kama that distinguishes being as inferior and superior. So these are two actions. Kusala Kama and Akusala Kama. Separate beings into superior and inferior states. Being or not be same because of the difference in their karma. Good karma produce rebirth in the good realms. Bad karma produce rebirth in the woeful realms. Beings are owners of their own karma, not used to others. It is their own karma that separates them into beautiful or ugly, rich or poor. The karma separate. However, if you just only have the belief in karma, but you do not think with a wisdom, knowledge, jnana, and you never put effort with you into your practice. You will not arrive at higher place just by having blind faith in karma. That's why don't just depend on karma alone. You must have tried very hard with wisdom and with your effort. That person who has uh, developed those uh, three fully karma, wisdom, fully karma, wisdom, effort, will be able to arrive at the higher and higher state of the living. You only cannot believe to karma. You need to waste uh, knowledge, you need to effort. You have a karma, you need, you have got a lot of packet of gold, uh, gold, but you need to walk. You believe your karma, I don't need to walk the gold, the container will come to my kuti. You sleep in where other people touch the gold. Because you never use the wiriya effort. You only believe the karma. It's two persons have the same level of the effort. We are compete against each other. For example, in business, the one with a better past karma will outdo the other. <clears throat> you can compete and vie with the other, each other using effort. But past karma is already there. You cannot change the past karma. Similarly, if someone's past karma is not so good, even if he has good wisdom in this life, he can still be poor. Despite the good wisdom, whatever he does, he may end up losing because it is not supported by past karma. Nowadays, many people experience this. They do the, a lot of business. They have the knowledge. They have thrown the effort, but uh, they are not support karma, past karma. They do, but their business is a uh, losing. Fair down. Closing the business. But they do not understand why. 
is this province, you need to do more kusala. The kusala is suppressed, you are an akusala kama, so you are a business or something where began successful again. This is why you need to perform and accumulate good karma. Is it true? Yes.